Welcome back, and look at you, you lucky, lucky things. Look who's at the bar. None other than Ryan Tedder is hey. here. Bless you for coming. We love it every time you're here. So much to talk about. Now, you just finished... You finished a huge US tour. Yes. And then your, your world tour kicks off later this month. Kicks off... It started in the spring, kicks off this month. In about a month, we go back to Europe, Middle East, South Africa, then back to Asia. So, yeah, it keeps going. A long time. So, how do you keep a tour that is this long and you're playing to this many people, how do you keep it fresh every night? We've been a band for 15 years, started with Apologize, led up to now. So in that time, I've written a lot of songs, as you know, for other yeah. artists. I've never sang those songs, different hit records for 15 years. I've never really done those in our concerts, so we started adding them. So we do a concert, about a 20-minute concert within the middle of the One Republic set, where I go from Bleeding Love, which I know is one of your favorites. Single greatest <laughs> pop songs have been written. <laughs> he reminded me of that a few months ago. I was like, the best, you haven't beat He's like, you have not beaten it. That's what I, I actually said. You I actually, will not beat it. I said to you, it's impossible for you so, to surpass the brilliance that's, of that. That's song. right. That's right. It's so, the tightest snare drum in pop. It is that's tight. The truth of it's, it. it's distorted. Anyway, we'll so talk yeah, about it. So, yeah, so we do that. So you I, started yeah. doing these songs. Yeah. Yeah. <gasps> so we'll go on. What, what songs are we in there? Like what? We Halo. Do, I do Halo, Beyonce. I do uh, Adele. Rumor has it. I do some um, Rune Five. You know, I I, I do uh, Little Nas X. Um, Someone to love. Me. Yeah. Oh. So I kind of jump. Uh, Ellie Goulding, um, when the lights go down, they yeah. will know. So, just, just a hit factory. So I just, I jump and suck, I'm a sucker for you. So like, oh. so we do an entire concert within the concert and we started it two months ago and it went off. So that's it. Um, you know Keeps when it, it fresh. You know when it most goes off? Bleeding love. Correct. Now, I'm out of all, you've written with so many great artists. Yeah. Like, oh, so many truly great artists. Yeah. Everybody wants to work with you. Do you have a session? Like that particularly stands out as being the most fun or the most memorable, memorable or the most meaningful to you. Uh, the most meaning. I've, I've had some crazy moments um, with icons that I that I worship my life, like you two, Peter Gabriel. The, they were incredible. The one that stands out the most though is Paul McCartney. I spent a week with him in the UK um, at his studio with all the instruments from every Beatles album. He has oh all of them. God. He has all oh of them. Oh my God! And so if you say to if you say to Paul, um, you know what I really loved, Eleanor Rigby, and he'll go. Oh, do you know what? The story about that. And he goes in, he tells me these are the original chords. It wasn't Ella Rigby, it was a different name. <gasps> Let it be. He tells me how he wrote that. I went into like, hey Jude, he tells me how he wrote that. It was amazing. Incredible. Now after the break, you're gonna play uh, your new song, It Ain't Worried. It's currently number yes. seven on the hot one hundred yeah. billboard charts. Yeah. Obviously. It's the song that I imagine most people would have heard at the start, that it's, yeah. it's in the volleyball scene yeah. in Top Gun yeah, Maverick. Yeah, 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 yeah. How did that come about? Who reaches out to you to say, because it's an iconic scene in the first mm. movie, yeah. iconic in the second, who reaches out to you? So put yourself in mid-COVID, because that's where we were, mm. and I get a call from a guy named Randy Spinlove at Paramount Pictures. Done a lot of songs for movies. He calls me, he says, hey, got an interesting one for you. Tomorrow, could you jump on a Zoom with Tom Cruise and Jerry Bruckheimer? We need a song for the pivotal volleyball football scene. We don't have it. Uh, turns out they've tried 30 songs in the scene, which I didn't know about. Next day, we do the Zoom, watch the, watch the scene. Tom tells me how important it is, how critical music is, this whole thing. This is on a Thursday, uh, 24 hours late. I get up early the next day, write the song with my bass player, Brent. Uh, we hand in the song that afternoon, and Tom calls me, kind of freaking out, just says, don't write any more songs. This is it. This is it. Like, done. The song's a smash. You're going to perform it right after the break. Don't yeah. go anywhere. One Republic are here when we come back.